everybody, it's Agnes. I've got a viewer's question today. So it's from, it's from, it's from Mary. Glad to see you on Instagram. Thank you, Mary. And also very much enjoying your recent videos. Quick question. I know you have probably covered this already. Still working on a specific person, but recently I've been busy at work as well as socially and I noticed I'm not thinking about it as much. I think this is probably a good sign, but sometimes uncomfortable when you have been a person of always feeling the need to take action and to make things happen and or obsessively thinking about it. I wonder, do I just not care anymore or do I not really want it anymore? Anyway, can you direct me to a video? That would be great. Well, I thought I would answer your question directly, Mary, because I've been asked this quite a few times. And see, when you've been someone who, as you said, I'm just going to go back through your words here, that you're not thinking about it as much, thinking about them as much, and that you start to feel a bit uncomfortable because you've been an action figure, someone who needs to take action or make things happen or be obsessively thinking about things. See, the thing is, that's really about control or the false sense of it, okay? Because you don't have control. And when you're in action figure mode and when you think you have to make things happen and force things into shape, you sometimes get a certain result, a certain amount of result. But when you stop doing that and you do your internal work or you do your distracting, going out, having fun, enjoying yourself, and the desire drops back into the background for a little while, see, you're going from almost being like an addict with a drug, like you said, being obsessively thinking about this person and, and taking action, trying to make it happen, which is all pushing, forcing, manipulation and control, and then you go away from that, it feels like you don't care anymore. But really, that's how it's supposed to feel, normal, where you want something, but you're not obsessed with it, where you want something, but you can handle and be without it. That's a normal, balanced desire, okay? The obsession is still about I need to get over there because the love is over there and I'm over here and I need to get love, I need to get love, I need to get love. That thought pattern of being obsessive, that urgency that I hear so often in emails, urgency isn't love. Urgency is still trying to get. Urgency is I'm not happy where I am. I, I, I don't want to be here. I want to get out of here and I want to get over there and I'd feel much better if I had that in this case, marry a specific person. So I think it's fantastic that you are easing off the accelerator with the obsession and with the urgency and it's going to feel like you don't really want it anymore because the voltage of madness, and I'm going to say they use that word because obsession is madness, feeling this urgency, I have to have that, like an addict with a drug, isn't normal. That's actually off the Richter scale control and it is not the way to get things okay so good question I think it sounds like you're in a really good place and it sounds like you're doing a really great job of being happy with who you are and where you are and enjoying your own space enjoying your own self enjoying your own friends enjoying your own life and that is what makes us emotionally attractive again and it just feels better, as you probably noticed. When you're not obsessed, you're not tortured. Being obsessed and in urgency is about being mentally tortured, and that's awful. So being obsessive and urgent and mentally tortured isn't love, and it's not going to get you to be seen as emotionally attractive, okay? To be emotionally attractive, you're relaxed, you're calm, you're happy, you're enjoying your own self and love doesn't have to come from the outside. That's when you're growing and getting closer to manifesting. Okay, so 
I'm going to put a YouTube down below called How to Track and Trace. Abraham Hicks talks about how you know you're getting close to a manifestation and there was a couple of YouTubes around that subject that I did. I'm going to put those down below for you too. So thank you Mary because very very good question and like I said it's been asked before so today is the day to answer it clearly and in a little baby YouTube. Lots of love.